name's Atlanta and welcome to this week's episode of Atlanta Delivers. Today I'm going to be talking about my most asked question about delivery insurance. As you know or may not know, you need separate insurance for delivering. I'm also going to be doing some deliveries on Just Eat, Uber Eats and Deliveroo in my hometown Worthing. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Everything I talk about today is based on my personal opinion and circumstances. So if I talk about the price of insurance I pay or have paid in the past, this is purely based on how much I pay and everyone will be different. If you do want to use my delivery insurance or want to get a quote, then it is linked in my bio. We are online on all the apps. Deliveroo is currently showing as not busy. And also for reference, it is Saturday today, so it should be busy. Just sat here for a few minutes and the first order is in on Uber Eats. It is a double order as well, which is lovely. Both picking up from Costa Coffee Broadwater Worthing. There is, the first order has a Diet Coke, British Port Sausage Bap, two Bacon Baps, Latte, Vegan Bap, and a Cortado? Oh, I don't know what that is, a type of coffee. And then the other order is for a Breakfast for One with a Latte and Bacon Bap. Uh, two of those and a ruby chocolate frostino. I've just got to drive down the road not even 30 seconds park up and head in Also uber is on a 1.2 boost currently There we go both for all this Back in the car, both orders were ready, which was lovely. It only just about fitted in the bag. First order is going oh, to a regular customer. I deliver to one minute, 0 0.6 miles. Let's go. This is nice that the first one's not going too far. It does mean the pay won't be amazing unless the second one goes far. Um, but it's a nice one to start with. I delivered here on the last video. <laughs> if it's this one, then I, I definitely did. Yeah, I delivered here in my last video. First order is dropped off. Now to the second, we have one minute, 0 0.6 miles. Another short one, so the pay won't be amazing, but it's okay. Always look on the bright side of life do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. Oh, I haven't delivered here in a while either I really don't understand people Why order and don't answer your door? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me I've left it, I've tried knocking both the doors, rang their phone, sent a message on the app, nothing. So I've left it at the front door, taken a photo on the app and written a note. That's all I can do. Um, <laughs> there's nothing else I can do. So that's complete, I guess. Let's see how much we got. We got £5.50 for the double, not too bad. And it hasn't brought me out of like the area, so it shouldn't be long until I get the next order. I now have a Uber Eats order for Ren's Kitchen. I am just one minute away, half a mile. It's a, a little cafe, basically. Uh, Uber for Gemma. 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 Thank you. Yes order is collected probably a five minute wait so not too bad it is only going two minutes 0 0.8 miles so again the pay won't be high but that's fine and on this one when i drop it off it shows that i need to get a pin from the customer to confirm the order not a house i've delivered to before dropped off as I said the latte was in a cup holder so I couldn't record dropping that off as I might have dropped it um, I got the pin number from the customer and just as I turned up to the customer to drop it off it gave me a Costa coffee order again on uber to pick up straight after I'm only 30 seconds away of that 
and we'll go and get that one. We are part, and this sounds like a yummy order to me, uh, apart from the latte. Chocolate twist, hot chocolate, and a British smoked bacon bat. Let's head in. but the order was ready i think they might have changed the system so uh, that it sends the drives when it's ready because that's both times now today it's been ready which is great um two minutes 0 0.9 miles to get to the customer that order is complete and i've just turned the other apps on now because we've only done uber so far i'm just waiting for the pay to come through on that one it is now 10 40 a.m there we go three pounds 60 for that one and that brings us to a total of 12 pounds 70 so far in under an hour and also my washing's done so i'm happy to be able to deliver in a car, on a scooter or an e-bike, you need hire and reward insurance. So you can't just use your normal insurance. I started off with Zego, which I'd say is the most popular company. And I started off with a top up insurance that I could pay hourly, which I believe is great for anyone that's doing it part time. So you don't have to pay hundreds a month. And mine was £1.75 to start with a month I recently got a new quote and it was down to £1.30 an hour it's all based on the car you drive and your age and other factors from there I carried on with Zego but decided to pay monthly because I was working so many hours delivering when I was on furlough that it worked out more cost efficient that I paid monthly so I was paying £265.99 if you do use a top up policy then make sure your other insurance allows it because a lot of them don't allow you to have a top up insurance on top my car broke and i needed a new car which is the one i'm in now and i had to get new car insurance well i stayed with zego but i decided to do the policy all together so social domestic pleasure and hiring reward insurance all as one which was costing me 365.99 a month remember this is just based on me and uh, this is quite high compared to a lot of people it was going up to 377 pound a month and i decided that was too much and i needed to search elsewhere so i did a lot of research had a lot of calls nothing was worthwhile and then i did a quote through admiral who were doing top up insurance and two months ago started doing insurance all as one so i've got comprehensive cover and the hire and reward insurance for now 150 pounds a month which i'm saving over 200 pound a month which is a big big difference obviously this is my personal circumstance and i know others who have done a quote through them and it has worked out more um but for me luckily that worked out really well so make sure to you know shop around find the best deal for you if you're going part-time then i'd suggest doing it hourly i believe zigo is the only one but there may be others so have a look around delivery order is in for sainsbury's on littlehampton road for three pound 87 i'm only one minute away half a mile it's a nice color car other drivers they just picked up as well but it was all ready and we have a little bit of a journey seven minutes 2.6 miles to get to the customer proving difficult to get out of the car park at the moment <laughs> comes on to not even not like just a two-way road but it's always so busy
definitely couldn't record that because I needed the customer's ID for their days of birth and also needed a two digit pin. It's the first time I've had both of them at the same time. Order is complete and I now have Costa Coffee Goring on Uber Eats. I'm only one minute away, 0.5 miles. At this Costa, I've never really had to wait. They always seem to have it ready, which is good. Customer has ordered a British pork sausage bat, a latte, a smoked bacon bat, a chocolate twist, and a mango passion fruit cooler. This is making me very hungry and thirsty because, like what I do when <laughs> I record on my own, it's 11 now and I haven't eaten or drunk yet. So it's not helping seeing all this food and drink. <laughs> is all dropped off and that was a nice customer as well we are down mcdonald's end but as i say in my videos in worthing if it's just me i won't do it because i can't park it's saturday today on sunday there is free parking but even then it's still really difficult to park the traffic wardens work from like 8 a.m till 8 p.m so there's not much time that the, there's not traffic wardens around that order paid £4.32 and that brings me to a total of £20 so far. It is quarter past 11 currently. Order is in on Just Eat for Subway in Broadwater Worthing. It is for £3.80 going a total of 1.1 miles and I'm currently just a minute away from the restaurant. There, but I feel like this car will probably take it. Yeah, but can you fit in two cars if he moves up? Yeah. Really? Oh, there we go. Hi. Nine three one two. Hey, G. Hey. Order is collected. Just a couple of minutes wait and now four minutes 0.7 miles to get to the customer there is a bit of traffic on the road now i guess it's coming up to lunchtime and it's a saturday so a lot of people are out and about If 
you have any more questions, please pop them down in the comments below. And also let me know if you'd like to see a scooter version to do with insurance because my partner Ben delivers on a scooter and obviously I don't know anything about insurance from that side apart from that you need the hire and reward insurance. He can obviously give more details. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye.